Proxmox v9.0 is finally here, and while it's still in beta, it brings a wave of exciting features and updates. Built on Debian 13, this version sets the foundation for the next generation of virtualization. In this video, let's take a quick look at what's new, what's improved, and what makes this release worth exploring. At its core, Proxmox v9 brings in powerful updates. You'll find the latest Linux kernel, QEMU10, LXC6, and a modern ZFS release. These upgrades are not just technical, they translate to better performance, improved compatibility, and smoother virtualization. One of the most notable features is snapshot support for LVM and NFS as volume chains. It's a game changer for shared storage users. We also see the introduction of SDN fabrics using OSPF and OpenFabric, giving admins new tools to build adaptive routed networks. And if you rely on Proxmox backup server, restores are now much faster. On the interface side, things are getting polished. Notification settings are better organized, error handling during login is clearer, and support for more languages makes it easier for global users. Virtual machines and containers also benefit. There are improvements to Vershifts and PCI pass-through, especially for vGPU setups. LXC gets backup improvements, and outdated DSA keys are now deprecated for better security compliance. Cluster and storage management sees important updates too. HA logging is more informative. LVM auto-activation is now disabled by default to avoid race conditions, and access controls are more granular. However, support for GlusterFS has been officially dropped, so plan migrations accordingly. As with any major release, there are things to be aware of. Network interface names may change, the VIM, monitor privileges retired, and AppArmor 4 could affect workloads like Docker inside LXC. So be sure to review the checklist before upgrading. This video was just an introduction. In the next videos, I'll take you through the new Proxmox 9 interface and demonstrate the upgrade path. If you're testing the beta, share your feedback and experience. Let's shape the future of Proxmox together. Thanks for watching. If you're serious about Proxmox, make sure to subscribe for deep dive tutorials, HA clustering guides, advanced storage and networking walkthroughs, and practical examples straight from real world labs.